Hey, what is going on all you fantastic and amazing people and welcome back to another video. Now before the video goes any further, I would like to say I could be completely wrong with what I'm about to say and I could be reading into what I'm about to show you way too much. So consider this video a prediction video, if you will. But I really won't be making any predictions, so yeah. But in today's video, I want to talk about how I think Fallout 76 could become the greatest online RPG ever. Now, I know what some of you are already going to say before even watching the rest of the video. That's ridiculous, that's silly, that's stupid. Fallout 76 could never become one of the greatest RPGs ever. However, when I was taking a look at the 2021 roadmap for Fallout 76, and in the Inside the Vault letter that the 2021 roadmap was revealed in, there was one sentence that really stood out to me. And we're going to take a look at it right now. So it's in this paragraph here where it says, Last year we met the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, witnessed the conflict between the ranks, and discovered new obstacles in their path. Steel Reign concludes the story of the Brotherhood introducing all new quests, locations, NPCs, and powerful new rewards. Whose side will you take? Your choices will change the wasteland. And it's that highlighted part right there. Your choices will change the wasteland. And that one sentence right there, like I said, really stood out to me. And it got me thinking, how will my choices change the wasteland? It just doesn't make sense. Originally, I thought it could be an instanced area type thing where what I do when Steel Rain does come out would affect the whole wasteland or my character only. Then I thought that would be way too much work for Bethesda Game Studios to actually do because every player is going to make a different choice. And the only thing I could see happening to where the choices that we make when Steel Rain does come out and how that's going to affect the wasteland is by looking at what most players choose and making content based off that choice. So for example, let's say we have choice A and choice A leads to outcome A. And then you have cho choice B, which leads to outcome B. Now let's say you have 50 players, and obviously it'd be a much larger scale than this, that choose choice A. But you have 100 players that choose choice B. What I think Bethesda Game Studios is going to do is see which choice a majority of the players made and create content based off that choice. And if that is correct, which I'm not sure it is, and like I said, I could be reading into it way too much, Fallout 76 could become the greatest online RPG ever. Because it would not be a team of writers who decides what happens next. It would be us, the player, that decides what happens next, based off the choices that we make. Fallout 76 would become a true, live, always changing RPG. And there is not a single game out there that is like this, or would be like this, if my assumption is correct. Now, like I said, I could very well be wrong in this assumption, but I have a feeling that based off the choices we make when Still Rain comes out, the choices that we make will affect future content for Fallout 76. And like I said, it will be us who choose where the story goes for Fallout 76, and not a team of writers. And if that does happen, Fallout 76 could become the greatest online RPG ever. It'll be the only game that I would know of that lets fans decide the story in future content. Anyways, like I said, I could be completely wrong. I could be reading into this way too much. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love all of you. I hope to see you back here in the next one. But until then, remember to stay awesome. Bye-bye, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, and have a good one.